And I'm doing Star Trek again. This time we're looking at the top 10 Star Trek The Next Generation episodes. Once again, in no particular order. Number one, where silence has lees. Not many episodes in the first two seasons are very good, but this is an exception. The Enterprise comes across some kind of empty hole in space, which they are soon engulfed by. From there, all kinds of weird shit starts happening. Other ships start appearing, space and time get bent out of shape, and none of the sensor readings make any sense. It's an episode which really gets under your skin. The uncertainty of everything is really unsettling. It makes you feel like nothing is safe and any number of terrifying things can happen at any time. As a kid, this used to scare the crap out of me. As an adult, it's still legitimately creepy. Even after the mystery has been taken away slightly, the true antagonist is still something very threatening and intimidating. It's one to watch with the lights off. Number 2. Conspiracy I gave this one a mention in my series review. After numerous dull episodes of trade deals and ambassadors and anomalies, suddenly the show pulls the rug out from underneath you. Picard discovers that Starfleet has been infiltrated by insect-like aliens that are mind-controlling the Admiralty. The slow build is great and again nails that uneasy atmosphere. And the build-up is even more worth it when the episode concludes in super strength fist fights and surprisingly gory phaser battles. It's monsters and mayhem and loads of fun. Number 3, The Inner Light. And now on to a contender for the top 3. The Inner Light is a Hugo Award winning episode of the series and for good reason. The Enterprise comes across a large alien probe which hits Picard with an energy beam. He then wakes up on an alien world surrounded by people who claim to be his friends and family. After exploring all possible options, he proceeds to live out an entire lifetime with the people he's found himself with. But as his life goes on, he soon realizes that it all must come to a tragic end. The episode thrives on excellent character writing and world building, which really makes you care about the people Picard has found himself with. It's all of the landmark points in a lifetime shown over the course of an episode with a brilliant central performance. But again, what do you expect from Patrick Stewart? And while an audience may guess what the ending will be, it doesn't make it any less tragic and yet somehow hopeful at the same time, and with a wonderful piece of music to anchor the story. Which kind of sounds like the Sky Boat song, don't you think? A really amazing episode and essential for anyone vaguely interested in Star Trek. Number 4. Cause and Effect Talk about a killer opening. The Enterprise collides with another ship and is obliterated in an explosion, only for us to go back earlier and watch it happen again. And again. Yes, it's a time loop. A loop where the Enterprise is destroyed over and over. The premise itself is immediately engaging, but what sells it is the gradual realization by the characters and how they go about solving the problem. It's a great ensemble piece with all of the characters' strengths on full display. It's an episode which balances the best elements with the worst elements. A cool sci-fi story and rich characters, but where other scripts would let the procedural storytelling and complex technobabble drag the episode down. Here they're made entertaining. The audience is so sucked into the episode that instead of falling asleep from all the techie talk, the audience is fully on board because we want to know how to get out of the time loop just as much as the characters do. It's an awesome episode that will have you on the edge of your seat until the end. Number 5. The Best of Both Worlds Well, duh. I don't think I need to explain this one, do I? The Best of Both Worlds is so legendarily good that it's been explained countless times across the internet and across media in general. It's got drama, it's got tension, it's got action, it's got character development. I can't explain how good this episode is better than any of the countless others who have already done so. The Best of Both Worlds. Watch it. Number 6. Yesterday's Enterprise The Enterprise comes across a wibbly-wobbly swirly thing in space, as you do, and a ship emerges from it. The Enterprise C. Once it does so, everything changes. The Enterprise C being transposed from its own time frame has altered the present, plunging the Federation into a losing war with the Klingon Empire. The only way to fix things is to send the Enterprise C back to where it came from, which would mean certain death for the crew. It's always fun to see what if scenarios in Star Trek. This alternate timeline is dark and foreboding, but also very well realized. While a lesser screenplay would lather on the exposition, this episode uses universe building to develop the characters of the Enterprise C, so you actually care for them and invest in them. And Tasha Yar is also used as a great dramatic device. You see, Tasha Yar was killed off in season 1, so resetting the timeline would mean killing her off all over again. It's a tortuous moral dilemma, but as Spock once said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. 
Number 7. Frame of Mind For some reason, Next Gen is really good at scaring the shit out of you, and no episode does this better than Frame of Mind. Riker is performing in a play, because they do that, as a mental patient. However, he suddenly finds himself inside the fictional insane asylum of the play, and is told that Riker and the Enterprise are all part of his delusion. Jonathan Frakes gets his time to shine as Riker's emotional and mental state begins to unravel. He and the audience is constantly questioning what's real. The episode keeps giving fake out after fake out until Riker is at his wit's end, finally culminating in a trip out sequence with a solid twist. Number 8. Darmok With Arrival having recently come out, by the way my review is on my Facebook page, communication between races is hugely important. The Enterprise meets with the Tamarians, whose method of speech is completely incomprehensible. After failed attempts to converse, Picard is abducted by the alien captain and taken to the planet below. This leaves the Enterprise crew racing to get Picard back, and Picard trying to figure out what the hell this is all about. Paul Winfield's performance as the Tamarian captain is excellent, and he has great chemistry with Patrick Stewart. Having two characters who don't understand each other is a great way to get creative with their development, and as their relationship on the planet grows, the tension in orbit does so as well. It's a nice character piece and a fine battle of wits at the same time. The eventual revelation of how the Tamarian language actually works is also extremely interesting in and of itself. Darmok is a classic Trek story, interesting characters, snippets of action, and an interesting thematic discussion. Even after repeat viewings, this is still a really strong, really entertaining story. Number 9. Tapestry Q has had a lot of good episodes on the show, but none are quite as good as this. On an away mission, Picard's artificial heart is burnt out and destroyed, killing him. After dying, he is confronted by Q. He tells Picard that he can go back in time and avert the incident that gave him his artificial heart in the first place, therefore avoiding death. What makes Q's episodes so enjoyable are his interactions with Picard. For my money, they have never had a funnier, more fascinating, and more moving one in this episode. The lesson Picard learns here is once again a universal one. Star Trek often has a lot to say about society, but I believe it's at its best when the message is about people and about life. And this episode has a hell of a life lesson. Sometimes, you just have to fight the Norsican. Number 10. All Good Things The last episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. I have yet to encounter a better series finale than this. Picard finds himself jumping between three different time frames. His past, his present, and his future. But in each time frame, he soon starts to uncover a larger threat to all of existence. Where to begin with this episode? Not only does each time frame offer unique storytelling opportunities, the past is a faithful recreation of the first season, the present takes our characters to new places, breaking the status quo, and the possible future is so well developed that you kind of want to see an entire show take place there. The performances from all cast are great, with a last hurrah for everyone. Q and Picard have one final witty joust, and the plot itself is so clever it manages to be truly mind-blowing, metatextual, and deeply moving all at the same time. All the best elements of Star Trek The Next Generation are on full display here. It's a monumental achievement for the franchise, with a climax that has you shaking with excitement, and an ending which has you holding back the tears. All good things is all the best things. And there we are. Once again, this was really hard to narrow down. If I didn't mention your favourite episode, then give it a shout out below. Have a good one guys, live long and prosper.